Hiya, hiya. You've heard of a TED Talk? Well, this is a Joe Talk. TED is technical, electronics, uh, discovery. Joe is jerk off. <laughs> I was uh, with all those jerk offs on the airplane yesterday coming back from New Jersey, <laughs> where they use the middle finger to direct traffic. I was very uh, surprised. I mean, I had a really good seat on, on JetBlue. I sat next to somebody who had a dog. A woman had a dog. And and a, another person, you know, on the other side squeezing me. But it's uh that I I like that part, you know, you got to pay for that. Is there a happy ending? So this dog was amazingly calm uh, and probably uh given some meds before she or he got on the plane. But what is it with bringing a dog on the airline with you now? I mean, I, I saw a few of them. And there's a sign that says a service dog. Of what service is this? I mean, was it the military service? She wasn't blind. She wasn't deaf that I knew of. She wasn't dumb. Questionable. Uh, but she had a service dog. So I asked the airline, I said, How, what's, what's service? And they said, well, she's emotionally disturbed. And I said, we're all emotionally disturbed. <laughs> it's a crazy world. And they said, well, not all passengers. I said, well, yeah, watch what happens here. It took us a half hour to load the plane, and we'll all be out of here in four minutes. How is it that we have that that quickness to get out of this thing? <laughs> but getting in is what takes time. Uh, you know, it's 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 emotional disease is, is uh, with all of us. I think one of the things is in Times Square. I talked to a lot of people the other day for this new television show called 98.6, and I'm doing a Man on the Square where I go out and I talk to different people, and I actually listen to people. I listen to you, which is very unusual for radio and television. You know, the TV guys all, always. Uh, as a rule, are asking questions. I really want to know how you are because I already know how I am, and we know the issues. So what are we doing? I I want to get a little a little temperature of the room, and I did. I found a good one. There was a woman who was smoking. She had a baby in the carriage, and her daughter was next to her, as I discovered. And she had a baby in the carriage, and the woman was smoking. And I said, I said, why are you smoking? She said, well, you know, uh, uh, I have a hard time quitting. And I said, yeah. She said, I cut down. I said, what do you mean you cut down when you're down to, uh, you're only going to lose one lung instead of both of them. Put that out. Do you like your mother smoking? And the other girl said, no, I, I, don't, I can't do anything to stop her. And she's right. So I said, look at these children over here, you know. Light one up. Fire one up for these kids here. <laughs> How much are cigarettes? About $7 a pack? I mean, when I was a kid, it was 25 cents for a pack of cigarettes. pell mells long ones, right? And then we had those other ones that were dipped in Vicks. What was it, Newports, those cigarettes? See, that, that American Tobacco Company and all, all of the other ones that are major brands, they have now gotten into the smokeless cigarette business. So when you go into the 7-Eleven, you see the smokeless cigarette stands over there. That's what they are. I mean, we're back smoking water. Uh, that's what it is. It's water. It's a hydraulic base. It doesn't have... Uh, one. I think one of the smokeless ones has caffeine, and there are flavors. So you can get the pumpkin flavor for the holiday here for Halloween. But it's, it's a big industry. You know, people love to put something in their mouth. I got my foot in there all the time, so there's no room. Which reminds me <laughs> of no room on the airlines. They sell you that leg room now, the extra leg room. And on the emergency aisle, they sell you the, the leg room. If we crash that plane, <laughs> geez, I mean, come on. But I have an extra leg room and a job to perform to get out of there with every, and help everybody else out. I think that's what that thing is when you sign up for it. It's screwy. I, 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 you know, I, I, I have the last satisfied customer on United Airlines. Here he is, right here. He's my guest today. This is it. <laughs> this is the only guy who's been happy with that airline. And United U.S. What is it? U.S. Air. Their last flight is today. They are uh, become American Airlines, so they got rid of U.S. Air. It used to be Useless Air, we called it. Before that, it was Mohawk and Allegheny. Agony Airlines, we call it. And they're from North Carolina, which is where the Kitty Hawk is, you know, the first flight, the Wright Brothers. So uh, they, well, the Wright Brothers, they had it right, but Allegheny and United and, U, and US Air and JetBlue have it wrong. they got the wrong brothers. Now, what was I going to give a statistic here today? I, I, I just saw this. This is pretty interesting. Do you know the death rate in the U.S. is 100%? Think about it. It's a Reynolds wrap. 